Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel, Chi Chi here, and I have a, a timeless message for you. I am recording this in Taurus season at the end of April, but whenever you come across this message, it's probably when it will resonate. So uh, let me know in the comments if it does resonate. If it resonates, cool. If it doesn't, no worries, just leave it here, okay? You can watch these videos for your sun, moon, and rising, so please be sure to watch for those. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Channel, Give me a like for this video, and thank you so much for being here. I hope this message helps. I'm gonna do a quick four card spread for you, Aquarius. And yeah, we're looking for the, the jump out cards, okay? I have noticed some of the same cards flying out for the different signs, okay? So if you go back to look at the other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. But yes, I hope you're enjoying Taurus season. I hope the season is being good to you, no matter where you are. I hope you're feeling amazing. Make sure you're doing your deep breath work. Ooh, a lot of cards flipped over. We'll put them back. Ooh. This is the only one that flipped out. She's been coming out a lot. That is the Taurus card, so I'm not surprised. All right, three more cards for Aquarius. Three more cards for Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius. Mm. Okay, Aquarius. Your first card is the Empress card, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. Uh, Taurus is ruled by Venus, like Libra, okay? And Venus rules love, beauty, romance, money, values, okay? The heart. And um, Aquarius, I feel like in your crown position or on your mind right now, you are focused on Empress energy. So this could be literally you as a mom, you as a maternal figure, thinking about your own mom and the role she serves in her life. Shout out to all the Aquarius mommies. Happy Mother's Day. And the maternal figures as well, celebrating Happy Mother's Day to you as well. But I really focus, I really feel like Aquarius right now, you're focused on your sense of value, your sense of worth what makes you feel good what makes you feel loved what makes you feel seen what makes you feel abundant okay in your foundation i see that uh, we have the nine of swords which is air energy aquarius libra and gemini and this is considered the 3 a.m card this is I'm sleep, minding my business, and then I wake up because I had a bad dream. I had a nightmare. I woke up because um, I'm I'm have, I'm stressed out about these bills. I'm stressed out about this deadline. I'm stressed out about this conversation. I'm stressed out about this ending. Like just mental anguish, mental turmoil, mental stress, mental tension that is creating tension in the body, creating stress in the spirit. And it's just, just no ease, no rest. And you're at a point where you're about to break because we are at the nine. It goes from the ace to the ten. So nine is that number of sacrifice and surrender near the ending, almost to the end. You know, when people are running a race, that those last few yards, those last few feet seem to be the, the hardest and the toughest, even though they're right there. But it's like that last ditch effort to cross the finish line. So it's it's that feeling of I don't know what to do. I feel so confused. I feel so lost. I feel so frustrated. I feel so afraid. I don't know what I'm seeing. I don't know what I'm believing I feel blinded I feel blindsided okay so for some of you Aquariuses you may have been blindsided by a situation that came out of nowhere where it came and went just as fast um where it was exciting at first but then it just left you in an energy of indecision it left you in a space of what now what should I do confusion because we do have the Knight of Wands here, which is fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. 
and this is quick moving energy this is fire of fire so this is you know the sexy um, masculine energy coming in this could be um you know excitement a good time not a long time type of energy and it, it's, it's, it's quick as it comes in it's as quick as it goes it's salamander energy it's being able to um you know really adapt and mutate based on uh creative energy and creative goals and what you're trying to build but aquarius i feel like this energy it may have come in at first as being very exciting very promising but it just didn't have the staying power that you needed it to be and now you're moving towards the space of feeling indecisive feeling like okay i want to be fair here but we need to communicate i want to you know tell you what's going on but you're you're doing things that makes me want to cut you off okay you're not giving me a full picture in order to make a fair decision i feel like you um are just remembering your sense of authority you're remembering your power you're remembering that justice should be required for you but you're the one that's going to have to give yourself justice and justice you know it requires communication it requires honest clear communication it requires the desire to understand you know sometimes people can be so committed to misunderstanding you because they're just such in a rush to get things done they're just such in a rush to be right or to be fast or to be first like they're just such in a rush to like rush you and it's like hold up no like i do the rushing you know because aquarius does give me like honorary fire energy sometimes just being so spicy and creative and like informative and smart and dynamic, you know? And um, we do have the Jupiter and Uranus conjunction in which Uranus is the ruling planet for, um, for Aquarius. So your ruling planet is in conjunction with Sagittarius energy. So Aquarius, there may be a Sagittarius where you feel like you're having to consider you, where, where you feel like they are affecting like, your plans they need to be considered in a decision you're making and um you know you really probably just need to have a really important conversation with them because it's literally not worth the stress like there's only so much stress you could take before it starts to affect your health and well-being and you know, maybe before it you didn't want to believe what you were seeing. You just want to be guided by intellect. You want to be guided by truth and justice and believe, you know, karma will, you know, will handle its business or whatever. But it, it's really about putting your foot down and don't let someone keep you in limbo, keep you in indecision, keep you in the space of not understanding what's going on, not seeing the thing for what it is all because they want to rush you, you know, um, and Aquarius, I, I really feel like it's a time to do a self assessment on what truly matters to you, what's worth worrying about, what's worth stressing over, who's worth stressing over, what's worth building, what's worth creating. For some of you, it could also be, um, dealing with the pregnancy if you if, shout out to the Aquarius mommies they have just have learned that they are pregnant okay because some of you may be getting up in the middle of the night because you get because you're nausea you know you're vomiting all the time you know just being pregnant just up all night pregnant right so for the new mommies and the mommies that are expecting congratulations and happy mother's day but for some of you it could just be dealing with the imbalance of motherhood of being a mom of being a mother being enough and wondering looks like oh is this even for me can i even do this if you are experiencing postpartum de depression experiencing extreme highs and extreme lows please get that checked out that's what's coming through now uh, like postpartum extreme highs extreme lows mental instability needing to talk with someone yeah mm -hmm. i'm seeing postpartum depression for some of you aquarius is out here and the need to talk to someone the need to get some help the need to recalibrate the need to find your happiness again the need to find what makes you feel good what gets you out the house what gets you focused on something else other than the stress Okay, so Aquarius, that is your homework. You need to focus. You need to have a conversation, a very important conversation with someone or maybe multiple conversations. You may need to book some sessions, maybe like uh, nine to 12 sessions. 
with someone Mm -hmm. and communicate what you're feeling not what you're seeing but what you're feeling okay not what it looks like but what it feels like is the is the mood aquarius all right so thank you so much let me know in the comments if it resonates i would love to hear what you think remember you can watch these videos for your sun moon rising and venus so please check it out and i will see y'all next time thank you aquarius